at the cutting edge of sport. There's been a lot of discussion about shared education over the last few days with the publication of a new report commissioned by Stormont. But one part of the schooling system integrated, which feels it's the real example of sharing, says it's been excluded from the report and describes that as outrageous. Our education correspondent, Maggie Taggart, has been to a school which has had nine years of growing numbers but says it's been sidelined by bureaucracy. Yeah, we're going to go down low, really low. Right down so your bottom... Drumlin's primary in Balnahinch has been going for nine years but despite having the perfect religious balance and plenty of pupils, it says it's surviving in mobile classrooms on a tiny site on an industrial estate. With so many other schools suffering from a lack of pupils and having extra classrooms, this one is absolutely full to the brim. In fact, this little hut here is the special needs classroom. And over in the corner, that blue container is what they have to use for storage because there's no room inside the school. Inside, the lunch area is right beside the toilets. One-to-one -to -one teaching is in the principal's room while she moves her work into the tiny office. At one point, a parent interview had to take place in the staff toilet. It really is progressing very, very slowly. And from 20 sites which were identified a couple of years ago in the site search, we're really down to very, very few options. And I appreciate the difficulties, but somebody out there surely must be able to make some sort of decision. Education officials have been trying to sort the problem out, but 20 sites later, the cost of land is now the sticking point. Some of them were exceptionally good sites and uh, one around the road here had all the services onto it but it was too dear for land and property so they just uh, said no and that was it. Integrated schools see themselves as ideal examples of sharing but say it's outrageous they've been ruled out of the report commissioned by the Department of Education. Now they worry they'll lose out on funding to the softer option of shared schools. We have nine primary schools at the moment in very, very basic temporary accommodation and some have been there for almost 20 years. Now, one step forward would be to at least build them a school. Uh, we're inundated with people wanting to go to the integrated but we can't take them in because there's a cap on education. All those things could have been included in this report but they weren't. Well, do you know what? The integrated verdict on the report is underwhelming and disappointing. Maggie Taggart, BBC Newsline.